Which type of crime does not require mens rea? Uh, that would be a strict liability crime. And those are ones where you're guilty of it, regardless of your intention. So driving without insurance, doesn't matter you didn't intend to do that. If you're caught and stopped, you'll be found guilty of driving without insurance. They don't care about the excuses so much. Same with uh, offenses like uh, buying alcohol for people who are under 18. You can't afterwards say, I didn't know they were under 18. It's a strict liability offense. You did it, therefore guilt is, is proven by that um, in court. Having sex with someone who's underage, again, it's no, no uh, defense to say I didn't know that. It's again a strict liability offense. If the act takes place, then the offense is made out. That's pretty much it. What is the main objective of criminal law? Main objective is to regularize behaviors of people in public. Um, without the criminal law, you could say, well, without you know, the police in general, it's the difference between perhaps a, an orderly, civilized society and chaos. If there was no uh, judicial system, then there would be no sets of rules to punish people for committing offenses. Therefore, people uh, who had committed an offence, that the, some elements of the, of the, the I suppose, the, the governing system would like, would get a lesser sentence than somebody else. The criminal justice system is designed to, is to, designed to apportion penalties and uh, punishments to people regardless of race, colour or creed. That's why you see on the outside courts, you'll see a, a lady, a lady justice holding a scales and a, and a sword. And that's designed to show that she's defending the law on behalf of the public at large. Why is the right to silence important? Um, it's important because if you're being investigated by um, a, a committee or the police, generally speaking, uh, you have a right not to incriminate yourself. So you, you have a right not to answer any questions. And it, it, this right is, is, a, is a kind of a sacrosanct right. And it's been uh, preserved and defended for the last uh, three or four hundred years, even longer actually, I should say, uh, across the democracies everywhere in the world uh, and in many other countries as well that are not democratic. It's, it's your right to not answer any questions put to you uh, when there's an allegation being made against you.